we need to mark the location and size of the air hole as well as the axle holes and the dragster design. So we're going to put the depth stick in the back of the air hole, slide your thumbnail up to the back of the car and then pull the stick out. That should be the depth of the air hole. Lay it on the side of the car and then grab the car at the end of the stick with your other thumb. That is the depth of your air hole. So we're going to make a little mark there. And then we're going to repeat that and mark it on the bottom of the car as well. So now we have the depth of the air hole marked on the side and the bottom. Now we need to transfer the diameter of the air hole over to the side and as well as to the bottom. So I'm just drawing little marks here to transfer that top and bottom edge over to the side. And do the same to the bottom. And then use your ruler to make straight lines down to the depth mark that you made for the air hole. So now I'm drawing that air hole on the side of the car, just like I did on the bottom. And I'm using my ruler just to close out the depth mark so that it looks like a completely enclosed air hole. Now it's time to mark for the front and rear axles. So the rear axle should be 3 fourths of an inch from the back of the car. And then 3 sixteenths of an inch up from the bottom of the car. So when you're done, you should have a little intersection of two lines to drill on. And the front axle is one inch from the front of the car, and also 3 16 up from the bottom of the car. Now you should have two marks for the axle locations. It's important to make sure that they are along the bottom of the car and not along the top edge of the car. Then you're going to draw your design on there and then avoid cutting where the air hole comes close to the top of the car. You don't want to cut or sand into the air hole because then it will not travel down the track.